Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm back out where I was not long ago. I parked on that hill, remember, and I just walked up that. And then I got out of here before a big rainstorm came and <laughs> hit. So yeah, I'm glad to be back out here. And I'm here with Eric, so he's gonna show me exactly where he was finding backlights further up. So I hadn't gotten up that far yet to where the backlights occur. So that explains why I hadn't seen any yet, but Eric's a pro here, so he knows where to go. And it looks like we have a wildfire out there that probably started up today. That's too bad. Oh well. So we're gonna go look for some backlights up there and hopefully we'll find some really cool specimens. Let's get up there. Oh, just in case you need it, here's the GPS coordinates to this location, which I gave on the last time I was out here. I didn't film anything when I was down there. It was mostly stuff we'd already seen before. You can see where we parked out there. So you walk up the ravine. You can see how far you kind of have to come up the hill. And looking for, I'm thinking this stuff. So Eric went around the other side. He kind of gave me a rough idea of where we're at. But you're getting into the right stuff when you start seeing these shells. You can see the impressions of shell fossils here for the backlights. I think that looks like the right shape for a backlight. Yep, that's a big section of a backlight. So remember I told you there are these long cones? That's just a segment of it. And let me put the uh, other lens on. All right, got the other lens on. Let's see if we can see some of the structure in this that you typically get with backlights. Um, not seeing it so much in that one. Ah, I think I see another segment up here. That looks right. Ah, yes. Another segment right there. Ooh, and what's this? Another segment. What's nice is if you can find right where it's coming out, dig in a little bit, and then you can hopefully get multiple segments that you can fit back together and maybe produce a nice long one of these. So, yeah, this looks like the layer we want. All right, let's get into it a bit. So there we go. I removed some of the dirt and there you can see another segment of it. There's some more of the backlight continuing down in there. So we'll just start pulling it out. And I want to check and see if there's any segments maybe down here I got buried, just in case. Okay. All right, so I'll dig into here and start pulling it out. Oh, <laughs> that's a tiny segment of it. All right. Here's the next segment. Ah, uh, there you go. So you see that structure right there? It's kind of got this wavy up and down. That's indicative of one of these. Okay, we're kind of getting towards the end of the cone here. And the end of the cone usually is just shattered to pieces. Hey, there's the impression of where it used to be. Yeah, see? Now you're not really seeing anything. So these are all pieces of the same one. I don't know if that is because that was found further down. That could be from something else. Still really cool. And there's where it came out of. Here's this Bill Knight that I was able to piece together at least that much. The backlight. So I was down below that hill. I've come up a fair, fair bit further. Because Eric said to come up and over around the side. So I'm up here and hello. There are little pieces of backlight everywhere. You should be able to see some of them. You segment there, segment, segment, segment. All through this. Lots of little ones. Cool. There's this one. You can still see most of the pieces kind of hugging each other. Really cool. Ooh, what do we have here? So that structure looks like the end segment of one. That one almost looks coiled like an ammonite. So they, they usually were, they originally were nice and straight and then over over time through, through history, they started to coil their shells until they became ammonites. 
So maybe that's a little bit of a coil going there. I don't know. All right, we'll came back to this one to extract it. Nice. Well, it looks like we're gonna get a pretty long one here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Not sure if this is all part of the one continuous piece or if it's a couple different ones. Look at that. I don't even have to use a hand pick. Just dig it out by hand. All this clay. <laughs> Look at all those pieces. Yeah, I think we got a couple different ones here. But it'll be fun to try and piece them, some of them back together. This just curved. Almost like a burrow. Is that what I'm digging up, a burrow? That would be very sad. <laughs> There, we got the end of that one. Huh. Okay, well, we may have something there. We'll take it back and see what we can piece back together and see if it's something. So here is the large coral pieced together as much as I could. <laughs> Just kind of show the whole thing. Put it all together. Yeah, they're playing some music over there. <laughs> so there you go. Here's one of the oyster shells. It's pretty big. <laughs> pretty cool. That is definitely not a bell night. That looks like some branching coral. It could also be a burrow track, but it looks more like a coral to me. So yeah, we're getting some interference in here with some of these being corals. It can be kind of hard to spot the bell nights. Or backlights. Well, look at that, some really nice little spherical balls. These might be like, you know, like a little bit of something that got rolled by the waves into this shape. Really cool. So this was a neat little area. There's a lot of interference here with, with, the, the, with the corals and shells and whatever else is going on here. And it seems like the, uh, the backlights tend to be kind of small here. That bigger one I found was further down that way. And I believe Eric's on the other side of that hill. So I think I'm gonna head down and kind of go around that hill, see if I can meet up with him. Maybe he's in a spot where we can get some bigger ones. And I, I wonder, you know, the layers can be very different. Maybe there's a certain layer where you get the bigger ones. I don't know. Well, as it turns out, Eric had been going around that side of the hill while I had been coming around this side and we just missed each other. He was just over there. So that's where I was just up there. Decided to come further down because when I was coming up, that's where I found the bigger one. And up there here, it was mostly smaller ones. Anyway, as I was coming down, I found this. Kind of nice little exa uh, example of, here's the bellum night right here. You can see a little bit of the ridges along the side. And here's the rock it's stuck in. So the bellum night's just kind of a, this upper section right here. And then there's the rest of the rock. Well, it looks like it kind of got fused together. Here's a nice little piece of the coral. So yeah, there is a lot of coral in here. It's very hard to see the backlights because of so much coral. We've found several with shapes like this that we're gonna probably try and cut and see if there's anything in them. He found a tip that's really cool. It might be the tip of a coral. Really cool though. Eric just found this cool piece of coral. It's nice. And a cool little piece. It looks like it's probably just shells at an angle. But it looks really cool. After getting a bunch of little stuff, we decided to come back down where I found the big one. And he just pulled that nice piece out right there. That's a really good one. Yeah, Maybe there's more in there. Out. Hopefully it's not just a single loose piece. Uh, that doesn't look like it. Oh well. Well, Still. there you go. That's a nice piece though. Yeah. Eric found that up there, and look what I just found down here. It's a piece of an animal. Oh, I'm slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Very slick here. Yeah. Alright, let me get some better footing. 
Okay, found this part of an ammonite. You can see the structure right there, definitely an ammonite. And I just pulled it out here. Let's see if there's more in here. Or does it fall from up here? <laughs> All right, I don't see any more, so it it came out from somewhere. Cool. Well, that's already some really good stuff. Let's just dig into it. Here's that half of an ammonite all pieced together. It's pretty cool. So right where Eric had been digging and then he walked away, he had pulled that out and missed it. <laughs> that's all right. It happens. You can miss him. Another small one, and then he's got a nice big piece here. Let me grab that. It's got a nice little one going through it right there. And then on the back side, you got one poking out right there. Cool, there could be several inside of this stuff here. So I've been digging for a bit. Pulled out this piece, where you can see a piece of it coming out right there. And then that's just the, sorry, let me get it closer. You can see it coming out of there. And then here's another segment of it. Cool. Well, I was just digging into the dirt and I exposed that one. Oh, piece of it broke off. <laughs> it's a segment. Aha, just found one sticking out of the wall right there. You can see it right there. Let's pull this thing out. Well, unfortunately, that's about all that came out of it. There was another smaller piece uh, that was it. Oh, and another one in the wall. So I got this segment out, and there it continues right there. Hopefully you can see that. There you can see it in segments going back into the rock, like that. Now, the sun is setting. It's time to get going. So I got what I could out of that one. So you can see where we're parked down there. So we just kind of came up this wash right here. And then came up this bigger hill to that outcropping right there. Yeah. Let's head back. So I decided to just show everything I managed to piece together. So here's that large coral. This is as much of it as I was able to get together. There are a few pieces I couldn't figure out. This was a smaller coral that was coming out. And then we, just a teeny, teeny piece that probably came off of something somewhere. The ammonite, partial. And then these bellum knights, that's how much I was able to piece back together. Not too bad. And we're back at the vehicle. This was a good spot, some nice stuff. Obviously the back of lights are what you come out here for and we got a good spot where there are quite a few. And that was cool to find that one half of an ammonite. <laughs> so you can find those. They're probably pretty few and far between. Anyway, now you know where it is. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, remember there is treasure everywhere.